Hello everyone, today I would like to speak about a specific topic that really grinds my gears. And this is the A smoke on Ascent when attacking the site um, and hit smoking Heaven. When you play ranked, you're gonna see a bad smoke here, almost guaranteed in every game, doesn't matter which rank are you. Uh, because just people don't know how to smoke it. And you can also see this mistake being sometimes being done in professional play, which is also very surprising. So. When we're attacking A side, you can be almost certain that the smoker from your team will gonna do something like this. And this is an incorrect smoke. This is a smoke that would actually benefit the defender more than the attacker. Of course, it smokes heaven, sure, you can argue that, oh yeah, that, that is some cover, but it actually gives the cover and more options to the opponents than your team. Because now your team has to be more anxious about a player wide swinging from heaven that will be already out here. It's harder to uh, make sure that you have good crosser placement against players like that because they can just fully run out. They can pop flash through the smoke and be in all of the different locations on site. They can jump down through the smoke to Jenny and you will not be even aware of it. They can jump down from that smoke into hell and you're not also going to be aware of that. And in general, they can also like try to outplay you with specific agents. Like, for example, if I'm playing Ode um, sorry, uh, Sova or Fade and if I'm be sending in this smoke... Then I can just use an arrow that will ping you when you're standing on site, and I'll just kill you all because you, you guys got revealed. And I even, even I don't have to play that agent because I can just ping the main entrance. And if I have a phantom, I will just be spraying here through the smoke. No, none of my bullets will have a tracer, so I'm, it's very rarely that I'm gonna get punished, and I can get some free damage or maybe some lucky kills on the players pushing into a side through the shock point. Now, how to do a proper smoke on this um, on this site? You want to put the smoke in a position that lines up with the wall here, this. So the smoke needs to be ending in this line, like this. Wait, I'm too close to see it. Shadows traveling. This is the perfect smoke for this location. So when we're attacking from this side, right? The player that is holding heaven, if he needs to white swing from the smoke, he can only be in one location. And that means you can um, place your crosser in a specific spot and be certain that you, the opposing player will be swinging into your crosser. And that is also that that smoke makes your opponent anxious because he's going to be swinging into the unknown without actually any kind of uh, information prior, right? So when we're smoking correctly, imagine I'm the defender. W would I like to peek? through the smoke straight up out in the open without having any information at all i'm fully exposed to so many angles like it's terrible i would not like to do that but with the smoke like this i'm more than happy to take the space here and be on heaven right and now why it's so important that as a defender you want to create the space because the best smokes for retaking um on this side are actually very similar to this in my eyes, one of the best smokes that you can do as a, reta uh, uh, as a retake um, initiation, I would say, is this kind of smoke. One, you just created space for heaven, right? You can not even, you don't even have to go into the smoke, but you can take space and check all the isolated angles first. As you can see, I'm slicing the pie. I'm checking all the angles without being exposed to more than one angle at a time. Right? And that is just one smoke that I put for myself. And that is just, it's one function. Cover going up. Let's do it again. I put the smoke, I'm slowly checking, maybe someone flashing for me, and I just slice the pie, and everything that I checked is essentially everything apart from Jenny and Hell. Other function of this smoke would be also, let's replay it. Cover going up. For a smoke like this, I can even go into Hell and just jump down and not be exposed at all because this smoke is big enough to cover my feet when jumping down, all right? Brimson will not do that, by the way, for you. Brimson is not, not big enough. But you're able to go into hell while not being exposed at all to the players holding from main. So they, know, they will not know even that you jump down. What you're also doing with a smoke that is as, as deep as this one, you can literally just jump uh, on Jenny, on top of Jenny, behind Jenny, from here, without being fully exposed as well, because it just gives you so much space. Or just drop down, right? Up to you. But the most important aspect is that you can just get so many angles for free and check before you actually going onto the site. 
and also remember when you're retaking on the onto heaven um sorry onto onto ascend you can also use your uh, your smokes as one ways if you're for example certain that your opponent is in hell and there's no other way that your other opponents will be in any other different positions. You're in a 1v1 with full information or in a 1v2 with full information. You can still outplay them with your smokes. If you have two smokes as a jet or as an omen or as a brimstone, you can do something like this. And now when you jump down here, you have full one ways. So you can expose those players because you just created space for yourself. And if you're certain that the players are underneath, you just one way them. But yeah, but the topic was how to not fuck up the smoke on Ascent. Thank you for paying attention. And if you'd like to learn more about the theory of, uh, of smokes, I will leave a tutorial for smokes, like a basic one, in the comments.